Welcome to Stupid Movies, episode 134. Where we watch them so you don't have to. This week we watched Halloween 2018. Yeah, I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 8. I really loved it. I think it was a good sequel to the first one, and it had some pretty cool kills. Yeah. I liked it a lot, too. I give it a 7 out of 8. What the heck? Kids, get out of here. What are you doing? Damn, kids. Welcome to Stupid Movies, episode 134. Where we watch them so you don't have to. And this week we watched Halloween. Oh. oh. 19, uh, 2018. <laughs> you forget which one we watched? No, oh, I did it on purpose. Ah, directed by David Gordon Green. Right. Written by him and Danny McBride. That guy has a cool last name. Green? No. Yeah. Starring Jamie Lee Curtis. Mm. Judy Greer, Annie Matichak, and Nick Castle, who played the original Michael Myers. So, Adam, what was this movie about? Halloween. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a direct sequel to the original 1978 movie. and uh, I like that. I do, too. Yeah. It's, I like uh, that it ignored all the garbage. Right. 40 years later. Yeah, yeah all the garbage. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. I mean, there were a couple... Nuggets of gold in those turds, but yeah. they were few and far between. <laughs> Adam's not a big fan. I, I wouldn't say that there was a completely good movie anywhere in the sequels. Maybe if you combine them all together. You might have one. You might have one. <laughs> so they ignore two through Resurrection and Hall and Zombies Halloween. Movies. Yes. Yes. Which, okay, fuck Rob Zombies Halloween. <laughs> ah, we're both right. So what did we like? Did you like anything about this movie? You know what? I did. Uh, I like the story. I really liked that it. it was a direct sequel to the first one because I like the first one. Yeah, it's a classic. Yeah, I mean, it, it started pretty it much started the started slash genre. where we are now. I I, yeah. and I appreciate that. And I like the first one, and I like that this was a direct sequel to it, and it felt like a direct sequel. It felt like John Carpenter had just got done with the first one and he had started shooting the second one down to things like the musical cues, the fonts they used. Yeah, the, the pumpkin in the beginning going backwards was cool. Yes, I that like was that. really cool. That yeah. opening was great. Yeah. Um, I like the feel of this movie so much. It was, this was the sequel we wanted. Right. I was even, it felt like I wasn't even born yet. Yeah. Bro. Whoa. Oh, except oh. it took place today. The, um, uh, the acting was really good in this. Yeah. And it was a top-notch movie. Uh, yeah. big, big budget. It came from Blumhouse. I mean, I typically... I, Isn't I, that a sex act? Yeah, because the characters were good. Yeah, they were. <laughs> it, they, there wasn't a lot of character development, but no. there was enough to where... There was enough that you cared about them dying. Yeah. There, but we were talking in the car. There weren't any that were put in just to die. Right. You knew a couple of them were going to, Yeah. but they had reasons for being there. But, yeah, Mike... Uh, was a badass in this. Yeah. He was, and so was uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah. Corey. They were both good. They were badass. They were old, but they are badass. Well, I don't think the guy who was playing Michael Myers is old. Uh, he actually is kind of old. Is he really? Yeah. I didn't look. Yeah. I don't He's care that much. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they did a good job. Um, atmosphere and vibe was good. Yeah. You know, uh, it, like you said, it captured the original. Yes. Kind of had that whole Halloween kind of vibe, obviously. Not as much as the original did, no, though. No, no. It it's didn't feel thing. nearly quite like... Ugh. I saw some green on some of those trees. <laughs> right, you yeah, know? leaves weren't really falling. But the, the atmosphere... Uh, mm. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> atmosphere was good, though. Yeah, I thought... I mean, it, you know, I, I wouldn't say the movie was scary. Yeah. And paired up with a score by John Carpenter and his son and some dude from some band. I don't remember his name. Thank you for being super descriptive. Yes. You know, the score was obviously good. I like how they mixed it up. They took the original and they did stuff to it. One thing I know that you mentioned, the the, the throwbacks to the original and the nods to the original. Yeah. And to the, even the, some of the sequels. There's a lot of that little Easter eggs throughout. If you are a fan of the movies... And have watched a lot of them. You're going to get more out of this movie. Because there's a lot of little things. Like the masks that the kids are wearing. When they're trick or treating. Are from part three. Right. The Some of the shots were. Shot for shot from the oh, first one. Yeah. And from the second one. Yep. Um, I mean the cinematography. Which I remember what it is. 
uh, <laughs> was very good in this, and they used a lot of that from the first one, like yeah. the, the way they did things, even some the way of the, the camera moved. Yeah. yeah. One thing that I, I enjoyed was the body count was considerably higher yeah. than the original, uh, and the gore was better, considerably the better right. than the original. And the kills were, and yeah, the, there, there was you get to see some kills, some of the gore, and it looked awesome. Oh, you know, the original was more atmospheric and slow burn, and this one kind of was too, but it had more. Yeah, and it, you know. That was cool. Yeah. My I favorite like part of this movie, and this is really probably telling about who I am as a person who likes horror movies, the little kid <laughs> who was being... Uh, so at one point, there's a babysitter watching a little kid, and this kid is hilarious. Yeah. Dude is naturally funny. Like, obviously, they gave him really good material to work with, and I don't want to take away from the writers, but that kid oh. is hilarious. Yeah, yeah he was funny. He top. Best part of the movie. Yeah, he, he he's got a future. Yeah, you know, I have to say that he's been in a Halloween movies pretty sweet. But he he was funny. Then that you know some of the humor they had there wasn't a lot. In it, you know, because Danny McBride and I think Dave Gordon, Gordon Green. I mean, they're more on the comedy, the comedy side of things. So that's cool. I like that that more comedians are doing horror stuff. Well, yeah, we've seen a lot lately of comedians crossing into horror. Yeah, oh, yeah. Good for you. Welcome yeah. to the dark side. <laughs> we uh, have cookies. I liked how Michael Myers' mask. Aged, just like the characters. Right. Because, I mean, it's a 40-year-old mask. It's going to look run down and worn out and dirty, and it did. And we probably should point that out. This is a direct sequel to the first one. Right. But there is a 40-year gap yes. between the first one and this one. Not only in reality, but in the movie as well. It is 40 it's... years after the events of the first one. Right. For... I, I liked... Uh, I'm going to take that last one. Yes. Yeah. Since I had you write it down. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like that... Um, they kept hinting that they were going to show his face, and then they didn't. What do we dislike? Uh, one thing I just thought of for nitpick dislike in the first one, they did some of that POV for Michael. Mm -hmm. They didn't really do a lot of that in this one. No. So one thing I did not enjoy as much, while there was a lot of kills and body count and gore, too much moves off screen. Too much. <laughs> so, uh, uh, there goes my coffee again, damn it. Damn it! Yeah, you're a big studio. You can afford to do stuff. Don't use that crappy CGI. Use practical, like the indie horror movies that we like. Yeah, yeah. We don't. Actually, I think this movie would have been a little bit better had it been done indie style. I agree. I agree. Mm. But I'm always going to say more gore right. could be good. Like, keep it on screen. Come on, Mike! Damn. Um, <laughs> talking to your dick again? Hey, Mikey! <laughs> Michael Myers was like, hello. <laughs> boobs. He called for boobs. He called, okay. Literally, yeah. Oh. That was a horrible joke, I'm sorry. No, that's, <laughs> the pacing, uh, I don't know, something about it, it wasn't, like, slow, but it wasn't, it didn't get boring or anything. No. But, but something about it just fell off. Especially the early stuff with those reporters. Yeah, it... The first 20, 25 minutes, I, it wasn't bad, but it felt, it's like, okay, come on now, you know, yeah. let's let's move on. And like those reporters, I'm just now thinking about it, they existed only for exposition. Right. Literally, yeah. their whole point in the movie was, we're going to explain to you everything that happened in the past 40 years. Right. That's fucking lazy. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. Really? Write better than that. So, I mean, that's a nitpick. That's not a big. Oh, yeah. It's just, you know, it is obvious you're here for exposition. Get it, 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 it. Be better. <laughs> the new Loomis type character right. was kind of weak, too. Yeah, I didn't like him. Yeah. yeah I don't it makes know. sense to me. New Loomis isn't as good as old Loomis. No, no. I mean, nobody can be Donald Pleasant. No. Not even Malcolm McDowell, who no. did a fine job. He did a fine job. Yeah. But yeah, so that's I, about... I did like that Jamie Lee Curtis's character is like, oh, you're, 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 the, new you're the new Loomis. Yeah. And overall, it's a it's a very good movie. I mean, it's well done. It's fun. Um, you know, it, it's. I mean, it's. It's a movie. Yeah. It's a Halloween movie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, you it, should it, go watch it. I mean, oh, don't let anything we've said stop you. No, I thought no, no, it was no. still worth watching. Oh, definitely, yeah. it's a great movie. Especially if you like the first one. Especially you'll, yeah. you'll probably like this one mm -hmm. as they correlate together. <laughs> if anything, yeah, I mean, Halloween fans, you like this. Horror fans will probably like it. If anything, just go to the theater. And watch it go to support horror. Because yeah. if, if this movie does well, we're going to get more slashers, more horror. There's going to be a slasher resurgence. Right. Re resurgence, not resurgence. Yeah. Support horror. Support horror. Because you know? really, our industry is hurting right now. 
and we need some wins yeah. to bring it back. Yeah. Because you you were you may not remember because I don't know how old you fucking are, you <laughs> children. <laughs> but we remember like in the eighties oh. when horror was at its peak and even into the early nineties when it was like, oh horror everywhere. Like you couldn't turn around. Every time you went to a theater, there was at least one horror movie playing, or two, right. or three, or five, depending on the size of your theaters. You exactly. Know? We don't have that anymore. There are many times where we can go to, you know, like one of the 20plexes here in town, and not one of the 20 screens has a horror movie on it. Right. Yeah. Not okay. Go support this. Because you know, so, it's going to lead to more big stream horror, yeah. or, you know, big name horror. It's going to help the indie horror, because... They're gonna get to do more. Everybody, it's a, it's everybody a win wins. wins. So go watch this. In go the watch theater. it. Check it out. Uh, Don't steal it. No, no. <laughs> the horror community needs you. Yes, and it's the best community ever. <coughs> so, on that note, final reviews, Rob. Final reviews. What do you think? I enjoyed the movie. Uh, I, I didn't love it hundred percent, but I I liked it a lot. Um, and it's definitely one of probably the best sequel. Um, you know, the original Halloween 2 was good, but this is probably better. Yeah. So, I'm going to give it 6.5 out of 8. Awesome. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Halloween is my least favorite slasher series. I probably should let everyone know that up front. I really don't care at all. Like, Michael Myers is nothing me. I've seen them all. I don't like any of them, really. I mean, I don't hate them. Right. They're just, they're there. Yeah. Uh, it's like I'd rather watch fucking uh, Leprechaun. I'd rather watch <laughs> Leprechaun than watch another Michael Myers movie. And those movies are horrible. Having said that, this is the best Halloween movie since the original, which I did like. Right. So I'm going to give it a 6 out of 8. I'm, uh -huh. It's not my thing. I'm, I'm Michael Myers to me is a giant pussy. Michael Myers, what a fucking joke. Michael Myers. There is not a single, literally the leprechaun could kick his ass. There is not a single slasher icon that could not kick his ass. But this was a good movie, so six out of eight. I'm, that's awesome, because I was a little worried going in. Because that's I, really, I knew you weren't. Yeah, that's really high for me, because most yeah. Halloween movies, I'd rate them at like a, a one or a two. Yeah. Most of them I don't like. Yeah. Season of the Witch, I'm kind of back and forth on. Oh, that's a great one, yeah. man. So, and, and I appreciate that we would not have... Um, why am I blanking out on her name? And I keep thinking Tiffany Shepis. That's not right. Danielle Harris. Oh, yeah? I appreciate that had it not been for Halloween, we would not have Danielle Harris. So, you know, I like what they've done. Oh, I just it's... don't like any of the movies. They're shit. Hey, you know. Not to cool, me, man. to me. Personal opinion, but I'm right. We're all tied to our damn opinion, yeah, people. Right don't so. go asking out of yeah, this. Yours doesn't agree with ours. You're wrong. <laughs> On that note, if you want to bitch at us, you can find us at Facebook.com slash Stupid Movies. Or over on the Instagram, at Stupid Movies, at The Horror Punk, at Dr. Sketch Turner. You can also check out my kids on there, <laughs> at The Mini Horror Punk. Really? Or, yep. That's awesome. <laughs> I know. Or at Andrew the Crust. And also That's check a little less awesome. <laughs> yeah. Also go check out our good buddy, Midwest Alien. Oh, He yeah. watched this movie at the same time we did. Dude. Well, kind of. Uh. They're an hour ahead. But he's awesome. Go follow him. He's yeah. a cool dude. No. On that note, <laughs> listen, that... Welcome to Two Movies, the final installment of our horror Halloween extravaganza. <laughs> so on that, I forgot we didn't do that. <laughs> so, that ends Halloween time. Back to our normal, regular, scheduled programming yeah, next now week. We're, now we're coming up to... What, what's our next holiday? Thanksgiving? Yeah. Gobble, gobble, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that when you get a blowjob while you're taking a dump? A blumpkin? <laughs> I see, man. Write us. Let us know. <laughs> I never knew that. <coughs> that would be weird. Yeah, me neither. I just, <laughs> you know, I'm pretty sure that's the term for it. Mm -hmm. I don't know why uh, I know that.